Hello, my name is Dave Carlin. I'm the Social Studies Department Chair at Blair Middle School. My email address is dcarlin at mps.k12.va.us. I'd like to welcome you to Blair. If you have any questions, concerns, and or suggestions on anything relating to social studies, or of course Blair as a whole, please don't hesitate to contact me. Your son or daughter's success will be directly related to work ethic, completion of assignments, and participation in class. While social studies is predominantly fact-based, a lot of the activities will be varied and the information will gain perspective for the students in different ways that history impacts their lives. And of course, the things that they can learn from to move as the world events progress forward. U.S. History Part 1 involves the discovery of the new world through Civil War and is predominantly discovery based through reconstruction. This will be taken by students in sixth grade. If the sixth grader honors students, then they will be taking that information for the first semester. And the second semester, they will be doing US History Part Two, which is from the Civil War to the present. If the students were non honors in sixth grade, in seventh grade, they will be doing US History which for both parts to the content are from post-Civil War through the Civil Rights Movement and recent technology and history. Now, civics. Civics is for the students who are non-honors in eighth grade. If the students are sixth grade and seventh grade honors or pre-med, then of course they'll be taking the civics in seventh grade. Civics begins with American Fundamentals of Government discusses the Constitution. We also look at political processes and elections. We focus on the different branches of government and levels of government, national, state, local, legislative, executive, judicial. The last third of the content is focusing on economics. We begin with the basic fundamental concepts. We progress into government and economics. And the last little part is spent on personal finance, basically how economics applies to the students. World Geography is an honors eighth grade curriculum. It's for those students who took civics in seventh grade, it is a high school credit class. While geography is tended to perspective have of content relating to physical and mountains and rivers and aspects like that, we also look at maps and ecological processes. This information is used as a foundation to look at resources and economic development, which impacts human and regional history. The human history aspect and the human geography aspect of world geography looks at the interactions between man and the environment with respect to culture, religion, food, politics, all of those various aspects. We study those generically or in a worldwide setting, and then we take the information and we study it regionally, starting with the United States and Canada and working through eight different regions that end with Australia and the Pacific Islands. Basically, the students should walk away from social studies with an understanding of the history of our country, how it works, and gain a perspective on world events. This is accomplished through a lot of different activities as teachers will be using and doing, particularly during these trying times. By understanding what's happened and the facts relating to these events, students can learn to apply the lessons to their own lives and gain some perspective and hopefully make informed choices. This way, they can become better contributors to our world society. Again, if you have any questions at all, please do not hesitate to contact me and I'm more than happy to answer any questions that you have.